you're and I'm back and today I'm gonna be teaching you wave threes how to play defense in locked all right just listen up and you'll be a beast all right so the first thing I will be telling you all about when it comes to defending is your height your height basically dictates how fast and how big your hitbox is gonna be the faster you are the smaller your hitbox so basically the lowest height in the game currently is 5'3 you're gonna be the fastest but have the lowest shooting power and the lowest hitbox but at 6'3 you're gonna be the slowest possible but you're gonna have the highest shot power and the biggest hitbox as a defender I would recommend every single defender be 6'3 or anywhere close to it uh, the next thing when it comes to being a defender is your weapon your weapon basically just allows you to there's different the types of defender weapons there's gonna be two types that I'm gonna go over there's gonna be like shooting ones and then uh, just hitbox ones so for your hitbox if you just want to have an overall bigger hitbox when coming to when stealing the ball long legs is gonna do that for you with a slight cooldown of about 10 seconds in between you it's not noticeable though you'll never really have to use the, the cooldown will never really affect you but so we have long legs and then for shooting ones there's two different weapons you can either use kunigami or riptide riptide is gonna go farther if you're able to do the riptide tech which basically involves just unshift locking looking away from whichever way you're curving and letting go that'll shoot it extremely far but it's harder to do it under pressure so overall i think kunigami would be a better choice because you can just straight up full power and boot it across the field all right so next thing about defenders kind of similar to weapons is your trait there's going to be six traits i would say you should pick from and they're going to consist of clamps which just similar to long legs just fully increases your hitbox on steals and um surf which greatly greatly it looks like you're flying increases the distance of your slide uh next is meta vision which is kind of like a mode which when you press t you're gonna have some squares going cubes around you and you're basically gonna not be able to get ankle broken and your hitbox is gonna like slightly increase which is really op but then at the end there's a downside you do like fucking you do get ragdolled after it runs out similar to meta vision is unbreakable which they recently changed if you didn't know uh now it's also like a mode you hit t and for 20 seconds your character can't be ankle broken it does not give any type of hitbox buff but the, the upside is has a lower cooldown and you don't get ragdolled at the end i know it might not seem like a lot getting ragdolled it matters next is iq which is basically just you're able to be a gk without being a gk you don't know what that means when you have gk gloves on you know how you can dive hitting c and z you can do all of that in your own box without having GK gloves on, so it's legal and it's not a handball. So you can do whatever you want. And the last trait I'm gonna talk about is long strides. Which if you don't know what long strides does, like it's just around like 10%, something like that speed buff at all times. So it's pretty useful because attackers are really, really fast. One-on-ones with an attacker. So if Buddha were just running me real quick, obviously he's not doing anything fancy, but I would steal the ball, you're gonna get it. You're gonna dribble away, you're gonna pass it to your attackers or midfielders, whoever you want. Mainly in pickups or league, which is really all that matters. So Alright, so if Buddha, next thing I'm gonna talk about is like reading an attacker. If Buddha were to run right, you have to expect like Buddha, come here. If he were to run, I have to know when he's gonna cut. Like look, if he cuts, you have to be on his cut. Like you have to think he's gonna cut before he even knows he's gonna cut. Or else in the in the foot race, you're just gonna lose. You just keep letting him go. Alright, so what I would say is you have to be weary of attackers because their whole job is to try to ankle you and get by you. So, Buddha, run at me. Look, it looks like I have the ball, but then he pulls it back. I don't know how I didn't get ankled. It doesn't matter, but typically that would be an ankle break and then he's going to run by you. So, not every opportunity. If it looks too good to be true, let me just tell you this. It probably is. Next thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is slide M2ing. So, what that basically is is holding down M2, hitting your Q key, and looking back at yourself. Well, I mean, you could do it anyway, but what I would recommend is look back into your own character. Like, after you slide, look backwards and hit the ball into yourself so you steal. All right, Buddha, let's just demonstrate running me real quick. Run past. Let's say he's by me. I slide, M2 it into my own character. He's going to pick it up, and then it's my ball. 
So that'll basically allow you to slide, but then have the increased hitbox of your entire M2. So if you have a build like mine, very useful. All right, next thing I want to talk to y'all about are one-on-ones on the wing. This attacker right here, let's say Buddha's left wing, I'm right back. We're on my side of the field. He is All he is trying to do is get inside or into this box somewhere and take a shot or pass it. We're trying to cut off all his angles where he can possibly do that. So if Buddha were to run, let's say Buddha's running down the wing, I'm never going to let him get inside. And look, he's, he's going to shot across it. I'm going to block that in his face. You can also, if please, defenders, if you were going to block across, please flick your camera upfield so that you don't just kick it out. That's my biggest pet peeve. Don't just kick the ball because it does nothing. It just gives it right back to their team. All right, so if Buddha were to actually, Buddha, let's, let's, let's try a little bit, you know, not too hard, but like try to get by me. I'm never going to let this dude more inside than me ever because then I'm just going to, if he go, tries to go in, it's my ball. He's never going to ever get inside of me more than I am. Unless the one instance where it's not is if he goes too flat, like Buddha. Come up to about right here and then run this way. Like if he just goes fully flat, that's not my job anymore. He can get inside because guess what's going to be here? Like two or one like fat ass center backs, okay? Like they're gonna, that's not my job anymore. I don't really care. All right, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is clearing crosses. Typically when an offensive player, specifically a winger, gets around this area and runs down this line, somewhere around here, if they are cut off by this defender, cause they're gonna be right about here, they are typically going to cross it over and look for somebody to tap the ball in. So what you're gonna do as a center back is you're gonna jump and you're gonna counter that. That's what bunnies is really used for. If you're gonna use bunnies as a defender, it's pretty much the blocking run so basically let me just explain this quick if buddha were to kick it i'm not gonna go like this ne please don't go like this i know it looks tempting to stare at the ball so you can see it second you know where that ball is going you're gonna jump and go like this okay please because look if you kick the ball forward it's not gonna go out of bounds and your attackers or midfielders have a chance to pick up the ball and keep possession all right so the next thing i'm gonna talk about is sideline steals this is literally the easiest way to get a steal if we're let's say this is my goal right here we're in this situation buddha's an attacker i'm a defender and look there's defenders right here defender right here attack right here this, this this is congested and this whole lane is open right here like buddha dribble in and then fake back out almost every time no like go down the sideline almost every single attacker is gonna go down the sideline why would they pick this congested little option instead of just running to an open sideline all right, so we're gonna put this live Buddha. Let me show you what would typically happen. All right, go. Look, he's going outside. He's gonna go. You, the second they go down your sideline, you should already you should be ready to go there instantly. Cause guess what? Even if they beat you inside, guess who's there? Other defenders. Guess who's not there on the sideline? Nobody. So that's why they're trying to go there. All right, the next thing I want to talk about, as when it comes to being a defender, is countering air dribbles. This has become very prominent in attack as like people's crutch after wave two i'm not gonna lie this this wasn't really a problem until these wave two started air dribbling like crazy so like if buddha were to do a simple air dribble like this okay look i just missed there you see why you want to know why i missed because i jumped don't jump with them unless you have bunnies i i promise you you're gonna miss it you're gonna look dumb if buddha were to air dribble if he were to again do it again look what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hold the s key and hit it when it comes to the floor Obviously, it's not always gonna be that easy, cause Buddha, like, do a little, do a little turns in there and stuff. Like, people are gonna cut and they're gonna go back, forth, up, sideways, whatever the fuck they want, cause they can do literally any direction. You just always have to be ready for it. But the one tip, I would say, the number one tip, just back up. And if you can't back up in the box, like Buddha, come here. A lot of the time, the problem I see is like someone like Kanye will air dribble right here, right? And people will jump and he'll just come back here and shoot. Like Buddha, air dribble right there. They have nowhere to go. That's why you just block the net. If anything, if you're going to try to block an air dribble, the most underrated thing in the entire game is the chest bump. You know why? You can't get ankled and it has a fat ass hitbox. So Buddha, air dribble again. If he were to air dribble and I chest bump in his face, it's I have like way less chance of missing it. And on top of that, you cannot get ankles, so you can save yourself the embarrassment of getting put in a metal clip, okay?